biggest healthcare policy challenge today is making sure that everyone, Americans and people around the world, get the best care possible, that that care keeps getting better, and that we can do it at an affordable, sustainable cost. The mission of the Duke Margolis Center is to improve health and health care for people locally, people in this country, and people around the world. And we do that by focusing on better evidence-based approaches to improving policies and providing the technical support, the analysis, the convening that's needed to implement these policies effectively and really change health care and health. The Duke Margolis Center has a home office on the Duke campus in Durham, North Carolina, actually based in the Fuqua School of Business. We also have a big presence, an office in Washington, D.C., and that really reflects the mission of the center to develop the best policy ideas, but make sure that we're applying them, talking to actual policymakers, people who are implementing reforms right now to make sure that we have approaches that really work. Duke Margolis conducts policy analysis on a wide range of health issues. We look at delivery system reform, we look at payment reform for uh, healthcare services as well as for how we pay for drugs and devices. We analyze regulatory science and we work to better understand how we can use real-world data and real-world evidence. Duke Margolis Center is interdisciplinary because solving today's healthcare problems require bringing together experts with perspectives from medicine, nursing, law, public policy, business, engineering, arts and sciences, together with people who have experience and expertise in actually implementing healthcare reforms, working with federal and state agencies. We put all of that together as part of our mission of dealing with some of the biggest and most challenging problems facing the United States and the world today. The faculty of the center is one of the really great resources that we have. We have bring together about 50 core faculty members and another 15 or so affiliate faculty members that are across all the different schools and departments at the university. And these faculty we support in different ways in terms of the research that they're doing, the you know their interaction with the researchers and the students. I've been a professor at Duke for 23 years. I think health policy has always been an interest for students at Duke. Duke, I think, very much is an undergraduate-focused university, but it's also known for excellence in its professional schools, like the School of Medicine and the Health Center. So there's always been lots of interest in health policy. Duke University has a very flexible, broad-based curriculum. We have many students interested in health that major in many different things. And the Margolis Center has done a great job of what I would say is taking disparate pockets of where people are interested in and doing health and health education and, and trying to help knit them together in a, a community of scholars. So the Margolis Scholars Program is an interdisciplinary cohort of graduate students from different schools at Duke. So we have students from the business school, the law school, public policy, nursing, and medicine. And we all get together and we all have a passion for health policy and are able to learn from each other's individual academic and life experiences. I want to emphasize how much of a career escalator the Margolis program is. Health policy is a small world and the staff and faculty at Duke Margolis are at the center of the action. A year into the program, my health policy network has grown exponentially. And as I start thinking about career recruiting and jobs after graduation, I'm going to be leveraging that network that I've built thanks to Margolis. And I cannot wait to pay it forward in the future by supporting future Margolis scholars the way the center has supported me. I think Duke Margolis is an important voice in the broader debate around all of these issues, drug pricing, um, proper regulation, um, the things that I work in. Duke Mongolos has been you know, an important uh, convener. They've come up with some innovative ideas, things that I've worked on, for, for example, coverage for um, next generation anti-infectives. Duke Mongolos has done a lot of work in that area. So there's various areas where Duke Mongolos, I think, has been at the forefront of trying to develop novel ideas, trying to bring together stakeholders who have innovative approaches, and trying to popularize those ideas and get them into a sort of a policy format where they can have practical relevance. In the future, I really believe that the students that are being trained through the Margolis Center are going to be leaders in the healthcare system. They are going to bring, um, you know, interdisciplinary, evidence-based solutions. My hope for the center is that we really are about impacting public health. These are big and complicated problems, but there are so many good ideas and so many people who want to do better than we're doing today. 
we are trying to bring those perspectives together and show how they can make a bigger difference. So it's really about the impact on health, not just today, but with the future leaders that we're training to have an even bigger impact uh, tomorrow.